Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this important hearing, and thank you for our witnesses for being here to, to highlight uh, some of the issues that uh, we're facing, some of the things we want to make happen uh, as, to get positive out, uh, out, output and, out resu and results with the TANF system. Uh, I'm glad we're talking about how we can reform and improve TANF to make sure that beneficiaries actually benefit uh, from what they're, they're meant to be served. We've been talking a lot about the need for guardrails to prevent misuse of TANF funds and for making sure that uh, funds get to the right recipients. But today, I, I want to highlight a TANF-funded program that has been a great success and, repons and a responsible steward of critical taxpayer monies. JAG-K, or Jobs for American Graduates in Kansas, is part of a national JAG program that offers students in grades 6 through 12 the tools they need to successfully transition from post-secondary school, the military, or directly into the workforce with marketable skills. Participants in the program face multiple barriers to succeed from their JAG case. Spe career specialist helps them overcome through a nationally accredited evidence-based model. As one student said, JAG K teaches us how to set goals and accomplish tasks necessary for success. I've met some of these students and can attest to how impressive they are and how much they credit JAG K for helping them get where they are. In Kansas, JAG programs serve approximately 6,200 students in 48 school districts across the state, including 805 high school graduates last year. JAG-K has exceeded national standards in the top measure of success categories since the class of 2014. And unlike some of the data stated today, the administrative costs of JAG-K are less than 9% of the total budget. JAG-K also goes to great lengths to protect TANA funds and the integrity of its funding. The JAG-K team submits a budget at the beginning of the year and each month itemizes expenses against the budget, submitting receipts and documentation to support those expenditures. They are audited annually and independent auditors test their internal controls. In addition to the financial reporting, JAG-K supports, submits monthly programming status reports and quarterly progress reports towards performance measures. JAG-K then produces final reports on both TANF expenditures and program outcomes. The success of the JAG-K program, both in student outcomes and responsible stewardship of taxpayer monies, shows how appropriately used non-assistance TANF funds can make a positive change in a society. With the right changes and guardrails in place for TANF, more and more of these well-funded and well-functioning and successful programs can serve people in need across the country. As we've observed in Kansas with JAG-K, flexibility in how states use non-assistance funds has allowed states to, to fund highly successful programs that, spot, that follow the spirit of TANF, but clearly there's room for improvements. Mr. Adelson, as we think through possible reforms, what suggestions do you have for eliminating a potential abuse while still maintaining flexibility for states and truly successful programs? Thank you, Representative, for the question. Uh, another great example you just highlighted of success in the program. There's a lot of it, and obviously we're talking about misuse but there's some great programs uh, out there. I, I would suggest a couple things. First is measure performance. And we need to do that uh, very well, and we don't often enough. And so what do I mean by that? Every participant that comes in the program that we're helping walk through with case management, with job supports, with cash assistance, we should follow that person when they leave the program into their job? Did they stay at the job 30 days, 60 days, 90 days? What happened? Did their incomes go up? And when we, we do that, you start to see which programs work the best, and we can put more resources uh, towards those programs. Um, we did that in Maine with our case management uh, group that worked there, and it was amazing to watch those folks progress, doubling and tripling their incomes over the next year or two. So I think measuring performance outcomes of all these programs is a really critical step. Well, thank you. And, and we know assistance on non that we know the spending on non-assistance as opposed to basic cash uh, accounts for 78% of all TANF spending, yet there's so little data on the non-assisted funding services and, and tracking what's successful. So um, thank you. Thank you all for our, your witnesses for being here. Thank you, Chairman, for putting this on. You know, these are just some of the ways that uh, we can talk about how do we successfully use TANF programs and making sure that successful programs like JAG-K can continue to deliver results for those in need. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.